In this video, I would like to show you how to connect the Magnamic 8600 to the WinXL program through an RS-232 cable to begin sending live thickness readings to the spreadsheet. So the first thing you want to do is check the communication settings on your instrument. So I'm using a VGA to USB adapter, so you can see the screen of my unit. So go ahead and press Setup on the instrument, then press the down arrow to Communication and press enter. So right now the connection type is set to USB, which is kind of the default setting. So you want to press the down arrow and use the right arrow to change that to RS-232. So from here you can choose your baud rate, your stop bits, your parity. If you're interfacing to a non-Olympus program that might require certain COM settings, you can make your adjustments here. So for demo purposes, I'm going to just change my baud rate to 9600 and then press the measure key. So then you can connect the RS-232 cable. And many computers nowadays don't have a direct serial port, so you may have to use a USB to serial adapter. You can get these at most common electronic stores, but you do want to make sure that you install the device drivers for the USB adapter. So after you install the drivers, you can go into your device manager. And under the ports, COM and LPT, you should see the USB to serial adapter that you're using. And it should call out a COM port. So you may need this later on. So you just want to kind of take note. And so right now I'm using a Keyspan USB to serial adapter the driver's installed for that, and it's using COM2. So then I can go ahead and open up the WinXL program. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the correct gauge is selected. Right now it's showing 37DL+. plus. So to change that, I would click Gauge, and then click 8600. So now the correct gauge is being selected. Then I can either click the RS-232 USB setup key or click communications and then RS-232 USB setup. So we want to make sure the correct COM port is chosen. So you can click the little arrow and this is actually the one I want. COM2 Keyspan USB to serial. So I click that. And then on the instrument, I changed the baud rate to 9600. So this is where I match that. And then click OK. So you should now be able to click the single send key or the send key on the instrument. If there's no live thickness reading on the screen of the instrument, it's just going to send those dashes. But if you have a live thickness reading and you press the send key, it'll single send the data to the spreadsheet. 